It all begins with her, Sophia Belgum, a 21-year-old basket weaver in Bangladesh. One day in 1974, as she weaves bamboo stools, Sophia shares the dismal economics of her craft with Muhammad Yunus, a young teacher at the nearby university. After paying a middleman for the bamboo in each stool, Sophia had only two cents left to show for her labor. Her story so appalls Professor Yunus that he sends his economic students out to survey other destitute female weavers. They identify 42, who collectively owe $27. Digging into his own pocket, Professor Yunus pays off all the women's loans, telling each to repay him when she could. They do, every one. And with that, Grameen Bank is born. Based on a model of providing the uncollateralized poor with credit, based solely on her integrity, her potential, her perseverance. Fast forward to 1997. After traveling to Bangladesh as a Fulbright scholar to work with Professor Yunus, Counts returns to the U.S. determined to spread the Grameen model across the globe. Working from his dining room table with $6,000 in seed money from Professor Yunus, Alex Counts founds the Grameen Foundation. Our first priority, of course, was to help grow the global microfinance movement. And we selected uh, several dozen organizations that were reaching 900,000 poor women. And we said, let's help them grow and add 5 million clients. And it was hugely ambitious, but we exceeded our goal by 2 million borrowers uh, in over five years. And that was thrilling, but it turned out, like Professor Yunus, we were just getting started. Uh, we came up with other ideas to extend his model. We came up with TerraWorks, came up with Grameen Capital India, the Community Knowledge Worker Program, mobile technology for global health. Uh, and these, these initiatives continue to this day to have a massive impact. And what binds all of these things together and now Grameen Foundation's Community Agent Network, which is the latest expression of this, is it's grounded in the potential often overlooked of the world's poor women, especially when organizations like ours can work with them, not for them. Through these efforts and with help from generous donors and committed partners, we empower her, her, and millions more hers around the world with resources to leverage her abilities, increase income, health, and resilience, and create a different future for herself and her family. Yeah, yeah. Power, power, yes, yes very powerful, powerful woman, yeah. Woman. By 2015, Grameen programs are directly impacting more than 3 million people each year, most living on less than $2.50 a day. Then comes the spark that launches Grameen to new heights. In 2016, Grameen Foundation merges with Freedom From Hunger, the poverty-fighting organization with a venerable 75-year history of its own. From its start as Meals for Millions in 1946, Freedom From Hunger has evolved to be a pioneer in finding permanent solutions to poverty by integrating microfinance with nutrition, health, agriculture, and gender equality using self-help groups as a platform to deliver education and resources to very poor women and youth, and deploying landmark programs across the globe. Freedom From Hunger had, by 2015, empowered more than 5 million women and youth clients in 23 countries with tools to improve their lives and set themselves and their families on a path to freedom from hunger. Now, fueled by the energy of collaboration with former Freedom From Hunger colleagues, Grameen Foundation sets an audacious goal to reach 25 million people by 2025 with the tools and training they need to break free from poverty permanently. Because the need has never been greater. COVID-19, political conflict, and worsening inequality are projected to add 198 million extreme poor in 2022. Natural disasters and water and food shortages are forecasted to displace 1.2 billion people by 2050. How then are we progressing toward our goal? We start by listening to women and families tell us exactly what they need. Then we work with them to create real-world tools and services unique to their needs. Whether that's digital solutions that teach sustainable farming practices, access to loans, savings, trade markets, and drought-resistant seeds, or training about business, gender equality, and COVID-19 prevention. We provide the resources. They do the rest. With the help of our powerful community agent network, we scale our success and increase momentum. The agents, mostly women who we train and equip, 
provide tools and services we develop to their neighbors and even last mile rural communities. Each community agent can annually serve an average of 150 clients, each living in households averaging five people. The agent earns as a micro-entrepreneur, but her agent's status is more than a source of income. It is a source of pride and community respect. The Community Agent Network does more than scale our work. It scales the impact of our donors' gifts. So far, we've reached over 16 million people. We have three years to reach 9 million more to meet our goal, 25 million people by 2025. And when we are done, we will do it again. Because together, we can help these courageous women create a world without poverty and hunger, where children can go to bed well-nourished, where parents can pay to send their children to school and buy medicine, where families are equipped to prepare for and survive whatever comes next. Together, we can create a brighter future for her, her, and her. Grameen Foundation, 25 years of Empower Her Meant.